Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is me Faraz Kurban Rajpar and in this video lecture I am going to discuss with you about the structure activity relationship of penicillin. So in this video lecture we will discuss the basic chemical structure of penicillin and we will observe the effect of different functional group and the various ring in the penicillin structure that is going to modify the basic antibacterial action of the penicillin. So this is the basic ring structure of penicillin. So penicillin is basically consisting of the penum ring nucleus of the beta lactam. Penum we have already studied that it is the bicyclic ring structure that composed of the two heterocyclic ring. One of the ring is the beta lactam ring that is the fourth member heterocyclic ring that is essential for the antibacterial activity. So this beta lactam ring is fused with the five member heterocyclic ring that is the thiazolidine ring. So these are the two ring that forms the basic ring skeleton for the penicillin. So in this ring structure you may observe the numbering of the penicillin will start from this sulfur atom. This is the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So in this way you may observe that at first position we have the sulfur, at the second position we have the alkyl substitution that is the presence of two methyl group. At third position we have the carboxylic acid functional group, fourth position that is the fusion ring portion of both these rings. And at the sixth position we have the acyl amino side chain. And the second and seventh we have the carbonyl functional group. So now we have to check out the different substitution site. So the basic substitution site in the penicillin ring structure will be the 6 acyl amino side chain. Beside this we can uh, modify uh, the certain other region of the beta lactam ring and the thiazolidine ring. But they will ultimately going to uh, retard or sometime going to uh, enhance the effect of the penicillin. Now let's consider first of all the thiazolidine ring. Thiazolidine is the this region of the penicillin ring structure that is the five member heterocyclic ring. Now let's check out the presence or absence of different functional group. Like at first position we have the sulfur. So if we are going to cause the oxidation of this sulfur, this will convert the sulfur into the sulfone and the sulfur oxide. So once if uh, oxidation of sulfur will occur, it will cause the decrease in activity of penicillin. Means the antibacterial activity of penicillin will be decreased. But at the same time, that uh, sulfone or sulfur oxide form of penicillin will have the more acid stability. Means its stability towards acidic media will be increased, but its antibacterial activity will be decreased. So ultimately this is the unfavorable effect means this is the unfavorable substitution means we must retard this oxidation because it is unfavorable because the overall antibacterial activity is going to be decreased. At the second position of the thiazolidine ring you may observe that there are the two methyl group present at the second position. These two methyl group are also essential for the antibacterial activity of the penicillin. So they must be left unsubstituted or they must not be substituted with any kind of other functional group. If we are going to substitute these two methyl group with any other functional group or ring then ultimately the antibacterial activity of penicillin will be decreased. At the third position the carboxylic acid functional group are present they are also essential for the antibacterial activity. If we are going to modify these carboxylic functional group to convert into the other ester or alcohol derivative, then ultimately the activity will be decreased. So this carboxylic acid region that is the third position functional group can be utilized in the formation of different products. But that product will ultimately have the less antibacterial activity in comparison to the parent drug of the penicillin. 
at the fourth position you may observe that this is the ring fusion region that is the nitrogen atom if we are going to consider these beta lactam and thiazolidine ring separately then they both have the nitrogen functional group so this nitrogen is the ring fusion region for both these ring this is also essential for the antibacterial activity means this site must be left unsubstituted means we cannot uh, substitute this site with any type of other functional group or ring if we are going to modify this fourth position then ultimately its antibacterial activity will be decreased now let's consider the beta lactam ring region of the penicillin this is the four member beta lactam ring present in the penicillin ring structure so you may observe that beta lactam ring contain the carbonyl carbon this is the carbonyl functional group and the nitrogen atom these two are essential for activity means these two sites must be left unsubstituted if we are going to modify this nitrogen that we have already studied in our previous slide then ultimately antibacterial activity will be decreased at the same side this carbonyl functional group is also essential that is present in the seventh position of the penicillin ring structure this must also be left unsubstituted the next is the r group r the acyl amino side chain the acyl amino side chain is the sixth number position region of the penicillin ring structure you may observe that this r is representing the presence of various functional group various rings these effect of this ring will be on the physico chemical properties of penicillin that is they, they may affect its solubility they will ultimately affect its stability towards the gastric acid and ultimately they will also have the effect on the enzymes they means we have the some penicillin that are sensitive towards the beta lactamase and some are resistant towards the beta lactamase their resistance sensitivity to our acid media and the enzyme is due to the presence or absence of certain functional group certain ring structure at this acyl amino side chain so basically this acyl amino side chain substitution that is the r substitution is responsible for the acid sensitivity acid stability and enzyme sensitivity enzyme stability so if we are going to substitute this r with the electron withdrawing group means if electron withdrawing group is present near this carbonyl carbon then ultimately the so formed penicillin will have the more acid stability and once the penicillin or any of the drug will be stable towards the gastric acid it will be the compatible or it can be useful for the oral formulation so those penicillin that are acid stable must have the electron withdrawing group at this r site like the examples of penicillin that will have the uh, electron withdrawing group are the penicillin v and moxiline these are the example of penicillin that are stable for the oral formulation and they have the acid stability because of the presence of electron withdrawing group we may also use the different type of the bulky group at this site that is the at the r site different type of bulky group can be used and uh, the presence of bulky group is to make the penicillin stable towards the effect of the beta lactamase enzyme means we can make the penicillin resistant towards the beta lactamase enzyme by modifying this r site with a different type of bulky functional group but we have to keep in mind that that bulky group will not be too much large or it should not be too much small because uh, it must be compatible with both the region means at the same time it must bind to the penicillin binding protein or the transpeptidase enzyme and at the same time it may bind to the beta lactamase enzyme so its overall effect should be to retard the effect of beta lactamase enzyme but to accelerate or to enhance the effect of the transpeptidase enzyme so remains the effect of the penicillin on transpeptidase means it must retard or inhibit the transpeptidase activity 
so we have to modify such type of bulky functional group at this side like the example of penicillin like nephicillin methicillin these are the example of penicillin that are coming under the class of the beta lactamase resistance because they have the certain type of the bulky functional group at this side we will study the chemical structure of all these penicillin in an other video lecture of the chemical classification of the penicillin we can also modify this r acyl side chain with the certain type of the polar functional group means we may introduce certain type of polar functional group like uh, ammonia functional group at this side and uh, the effect of this polar functional group will to enhance the antibacterial spectra of penicillin means now the bacteria will be able to pass through the porins these are the channels of the gram negative cell wall and uh, ultimately its spectrum towards the gram negative will be increased means now the penicillin will become the extended spectrum the example of the extended spectrum penicillin are the ampicillin and amoxicillin so means if we are going to modify this r acyl amino side chain with the polar functional group like the ammonia or any of the ammonia side chain phenyl ring then ultimately it will convert the penicillin toward the extended spectrum penicillin the example are ampicillin and amoxicillin beside this we can also modify this with the urea like polar functional group means uh, the urea high functional group which is present in that chemical structure the effect of these penicillin will be to enhance the spectra of penicillin towards the antisidomonal species means they will be effective against the pseudomonas aeruginosa species of the bacteria so now the penicillin will be will have the antisidomonal activity as well the example of the penicillin that will have the urea like polar functional group at this sixth position acyl amino side chain are the tetracycline and the piperacycline so now at the end of the structure activity relationship of penicillin now let's check out the chiral carbon that are present in the penicillin structure so first of all what is chiral carbon chiral carbon is the any carbon that is attached to the four different functional group we know that the valency of carbon is the four means it can bound to the four different groups so once any carbon atom that is bonded to the four different functional group means at 1 2 3 4 we have the different four functional group then that carbon will be known as the chiral carbon in the chemical structure of penicillin we have the three chiral carbon atom present in the penicillin molecule that is the carbon number atom of the sulfur carbon number 5 position and the 6 position if we are going to change the these three chiral carbon atom then ultimately its stereochemistry of the penicillin will be changed and once the stereochemistry of penicillin will be disturbed ultimately its antibacterial spectra its antibacterial activity will be modified and will be retarded so now let's check out these are the three different chiral carbon atom that are present in the penicillin so let's consider this carbon number that is the third number carbon this is why this is known as the chiral carbon because it is bonded with the four different functional group like at one side it has this carboxylic acid at the second side this is bonded to this carbon and that has the side chains at the third side this has the it is directly bonded to the nitrogen and on the fourth it is the ch so they, we have the four different functional group at the four sides of this carbon that's why it is the chiral carbon now let's consider this carbon why this is known as the chiral carbon because at one side it is directly bonded to the sulfur at the second it is directly bonded to the nitrogen at the third this is bonded to this methylene and at the fourth it is the ch so that's why it is the chiral carbon because the chiral carbon is that carbon that is bonded to the four different functional group 
so this one is also a chiral carbon because it is on the one side bonded to the carbonyl carbon on the second uh, position it is bonded to this nitrogen on the third it is bonded to this and on the fourth it is the ch so these three carbon atom uh, this one carboxylic acid carbon this carbon and uh, this of the penicillin are named as the chiral carbon so if someone asks you that uh, how many chiral carbon atom are present in the penicillin you may easily answer that three chiral carbon and you may give reason accordingly that why these three carbon atom of penicillin are known as the chiral carbon atom so this was all about the structure activity relationship of the penicillin